All right, this is the for sale video for this 1982 FLH Electroglide with Harley sidecar. Uh, so this is a, again, 1982 FLH, 80-inch. Uh, these came with uh, electronic ignition, five-gallon tanks, bags, you know, all the bells and whistles. Uh, and this one, I don't know if it was originally a sidecar rig, uh, but this is a 1999 um, uh, TLE Harley sidecar. Uh, so it's not a not obviously factory to this bike. Uh, and this bike and setup and rig is also coming with the bracketry that should make uh, this sidecar work with anything from. 1998, I believe, uh, up to 2006, um, you know, twin cams, uh, you know, touring models. So the, this bike has special bracketry done, so it's not the classic, uh, brackets that you would have for a shovel head error. So let's talk about this. Uh, bike is showing... 14,700-ish miles. It's going to go up. I bought this 3,000 miles ago, uh, around-ish, uh, and did that in a season, essentially. Um, so I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, I added these chrome bag surrounds just because I think the bags are a little plain on, on these models and just dressed it up a little. Um... This is a strong running bike. I've got another video showing the compression is matched and high for, uh, or good, very good for shovel heads, which are not known for uh, high compression. Um, I do have a coil cover, uh, but I lost the screws, so I'll have to take a look at that. Condition of the bike, well, I'd say it's pretty great. Uh, but then again, I am not the type that spends a ton of time polishing. I didn't wash this bike before I took this video. We got plenty of pollen and dust. Uh, there are paint flaws here, there, everywhere. Got a nice little scratch on the top there. Uh, this thing gets used. Uh, if you've never had a sidecar before, it's a different experience. I joke that it's a crappy motorcycle experience, but a uh, fun tractor <laughs> and so obviously you can't lean with these sort of things uh, they have their own riding characteristics uh, but this era of uh, touring bike actually works very well with a sidecar because it's all torque right off of idle no problem pulling all over the place uh, this thing trucks uh, but you're not going to want to jump on the interstate for and think you're going to do an iron butt in one of these. They're just, you know, it's a, it's a different animal. Uh, you could, um, but it, it's just a, a different experience. It's much, I'd say, much better for regional travel. That said, I did have somebody take this uh, all the way up to Boston and Providence and back and all over the place. They did 500 miles in, in you know, a day or so. Um, which, again, for sidecar miles, you know, on local roads and stuff like that is... Yeah, a lot. Uh, so, strong compression, low miles. I do have, because the trip is broken on this, I do have another speedometer. Actually, the more expensive Stuart Warner that's showing 17,000-ish miles and is in total working condition. That'll go with the bike. Uh, and so, in about one oil change, one season, maybe two, plop that one in, screw it in, and... Uh, You'll have accurate miles and um, a brand new working uh, speedometer. Um, the speedometer on this, they're not, they're not perfect. This one runs about five miles per hour slow all the way up to the you know, low 50s. And then it's more like seven to eight miles per hour. So uh, you think you're, you're uh, you, when it feels like you're going faster than the speedo is showing, it's because you actually are. Um, this bike has two seats. I've got a solo seat for this, and then I've got this Comfort Flex, which is the 
the sprung type with the pole or with the, um, not the pole, not the shaft, the pogo stick, whatever. Uh, I find if you want to do some uh, spirited riding, it's best to have that all the way down because then you're not even higher up on the bike. Uh, it's just a sort of a feel thing. Um, but yeah, there's the solo seat if you want it. Uh, and you can obviously run that seat all the way flat or you can run it uh, sprung, which gives a great, you know, Cadillac, no, Cadillac-ish uh, <laughs> ride experience. That is not what it feels like. But uh, it, it, feel, it takes a lot out of the road. Um, this bike came with a period correct windshield. It's got some red tinting. There's probably uh, some pictures of that. Uh, it's got new bars that are just a bit higher. Nothing crazy. Um, I forget if they're 10 or 12 inch. Um, new mirrors uh, with German glass. These function really well. Yeah, they're not the square ones, but they don't rattle and blur. And they're uh, a little bit uh, convex or concurved, I forget. Uh, so you actually see quite a bit with them. Um, new grips. Uh, fluids are constantly changed. Uh, you know, you, you don't wait the normal mileage for this, regardless of what uh, oils you're using. Uh, because just of the type of motors these are. Uh, so uh, I use straight 50 weight. I also use, uh, this has a heater uh, built in, an oil heater that I've uh, modified. So if you're riding or you want to go riding in cooler weather, if you plug it in 15, 20, 30 minutes before you go out riding, the oil will be in the 70s when you go to start it, as opposed to if, you, if you're like me and you ride all the way down to the the 20s essentially um, the foot uh, rear brake has been slightly modified for a modern feel in the sense that the location is uh, moved forward I, I modified the original versus buying the aftermarket because it wasn't in stock during the times when I owned this uh, it's just a nice addition the the rear brake i uh, rear caliper i rebuilt myself with new seals took a bit of work a lot of junk in there uh but she stops flawlessly now and really the rear brakes on these are huge i think it's a it might be a, a 12 inch disc on the rear uh for this model was an option and this one's got it uh but it's big and so you use a lot of rear brake with this uh, front, all the brake uh, fluids have been swapped. Carb's been gone through. Uh, new battery. New, uh, new battery top. Uh, or sorry, I have a new battery strap. Uh, I've been using this luggage one instead because it's quick access. Um, I replaced the cable that goes to the starter. Uh and got a bigger gauge one and, and then actually put some surround on it because I had an arcing issue with the other one, which caused some melting. And so hence why there's a new battery, new strap, and uh, uh, all the cabling for that is fresh and deluxe. Um, what else? Ba -ba -ba. Uh, this rig is set up for carrying people uh, and you'll get this with it. But you can also, it is already has dog mounts. So we have one mount up here. This connects to a front harness. And then there's one that goes through the back to another mounting point under here. Everything's, you know, rated for like two tons. To make sure, a uh, little flaw, just so you see that uh, in the seat. Um... It does have the top, the cover, in pretty great condition. A little dirty, a little spotted, but again, the great thing about this not being a trailer queen, having some age is A, it's cooler looking, uh, and B, you don't have to worry when you put a scratch on it. Uh, cheesy, removable cup holder, but I use it all the time. And then actually there is a small tachometer here that's hooked into the coil uh, which gives you great uh, information if you're you know playing with your idle 
Uh, on that note, this SNS Super E has been modified to include that little dial there. So that's your idle speed control. So besides having your choke, um, you also have an idle speed control, which is nice. If you're maybe not, you know, letting this thing warm up for forever, uh, and you want to want to get going a little sooner rather than later, uh, this sidecar has a disc. This bike does not have reverse. It is fairly easy to move. It is, you know, these aren't thousand-pound uh, bikes to begin with, so I'm not a big guy. One hand, she pushes. It's it's really easy to to get this rolling. In and out of places. Um, don't know if this is original paint. The, the uh, decals are on the outside. Not in the uh, perfect condition. You know, because of, uh, again, what this is. Have the important 82 badge there. That you get to brag about. Because, again, 82 is the first year that Harley bought the company back. And so, this is this is the bike. Uh, this is a removable decal. It'll be gone. Uh, a couple of buttons missing, but those are easily replaceable with the, uh, you know, the rivet stuff you can get off of Amazon. Haven't done it yet. Could do it. You know, if you, if it's something you want me to do beforehand for a price, uh, wheels are all in good condition. The front and the, the, the wheels of the uh, bike itself, you know, they've gotten flatter or, you know, taken some curve off, which actually just makes the riding better because again you can't lean so that if you look they've got plenty of tread i don't know if it'll show but the tires are going to get flatter and less rounded the more you ride on them uh the sidecar obviously has a a white wall um some hardware has been updated things have been oiled um the harness connect disconnects easily from the entire bike i've also added a quick detach brake line to this so with the help of a little furniture mover or a stand or whatever you can get this bike off or separated if you're quick in about 20 minutes um, getting it back together takes a bit more because it's a little more of a dance and shimming it on to three brackets simultaneously but pulling it off uh, I did a whole video on it. Keep some Amazon boxes around and basically get it all set up. And then this the the uh, sidecar will just slide off uh, easily if you got a good surface to, to make it slide. Um, this bike runs great and most importantly it runs straight. So it doesn't wobble all over the place. Uh, the bars are a great height so that you don't get that pinch in your back from... Uh, yeah, so the beach bars or anything that'd be low because there are times if you don't nail the turn that you have to put some effort in, into the handlebars and so it's better to have it up higher and, and really be using your your arms and your your shoulders rather than being in an awkward position um, full disclosure I would not be selling this bike except for the fact that my dog who I love very very much has decided she doesn't want to ride anymore. Doesn't matter what the weather is. Doesn't matter what the occasion is. We have other toys. We've got a classic van that she loves. Uh, but ever since we had our baby, uh, you know, human baby, uh, the fur baby doesn't want to go riding anymore. And I can put her in the bike. You know, I go outside for a walk and put her in it. But at this point now, if I warm the bike up, she knows what's coming. And she will just basically sulk um, and not want to come out of her her favorite you know hangout spots whereas for every walk every ride everything else you know she comes flying so uh, as much as I've loved it and it's it's been great uh, to have and I've had some fun with the nieces and nephews and whatnot uh, it's gonna be years before my son would get any use of this and that's a long time to wait uh you know to have a this is my third bike and then we have two classic vehicle two classic autos um 
to wait just for him to get used or with holidays when we have family here to you know putter around the neighborhood with the with the kids it's just you know these things aren't cheap uh so let's talk price i value this at the price of a pretty decent flh with some there's some paint flaws there's some touch-up spots that have happened there's scratches there's you know the exhaust is is nice but not everything is perfect it's not a chromed out engine it's a it's a natural uh i guess not natural uh whatever it's not a polished engine so it's shovel motor uh with low miles and great compression um also have a oil gauge on there too which is a nice add um but she's not perfect so you know we're in softer market times but again a nice 82 flh well taken care of with some nice options i think you, you know that uh, a person who doesn't have a drug addiction isn't selling we know what those generally go for and then we know what sidecars relatively go for again not out in the middle of nowhere um what a nice you know factory sidecar cost to go buy one and then normally you'd have to pay a bunch of money or spend a bunch of time to hook them together and hope it all worked um and on top of that this comes with the bracketry which maybe is no use to you maybe you don't have a twin cam i i do uh i've got you know an 01 uh but that bracketry if you go on ebay has a uh, you know some decent value because again they don't make a ton of they, they don't make uh they didn't make a ton of these and they're not they're making the special the new special editions i think for the soft tails and stuff like that but there's just not a lot of loose uh harley stock uh bracketry to get these to work so even if you don't have a twin cam it's worth uh actually a decent chunk of change just to have the brackets to make it work so um that's worth something i'm not breaking this up i'm not selling the bike and the sidecar separately i don't want to have to to deal with all that sort of stuff so figure nice flh in the right color with the right uh emblem uh really nice uh sidecar that's your price could I be swayed, since I don't really need this, even though I like it a ton? Yeah, maybe. I mean, be, be reasonable. Uh, but I don't need the money, and I don't need to sell. I've got storage. Uh, happy to have this another season, at least. Uh, and every year, we get a little bit closer to you know, the young kids putting, putting it to use. And who knows, maybe my dog has a change of heart. Probably not, though. <laughs> she just likes some of the other options better. So, hope this was helpful. Um, yeah. Ask any questions. Uh, every service has been done. Uh, front uh, wheel bearings were recently done. That was fun. A lot of original stuff on here. Let me know.